All the Mainers enjoying a tropical vacation today. Oh. Isn't that nice? It's funny though because <laughs> we like it on vacation, but then we don't necessarily like it in our backyard. Because well, you're not wearing, you know, if you got to go to work and right. wear a suit or something, that's yeah, not so much fun. You got to live actual life in the meantime. Yeah, it, today was what I think what I told you it was going to be, right? Yeah. It was just yeah, a I'd weird, so. close kind of yeah. day. Uh, but tomorrow will be pumpkin spice latte day. So there you go. We'll get, it's amazing. We get some big changes. Yeah, it is too soon, I think. Uh, 70s for dew points, mid 70s in Lewiston. And we had uh, 40 days like this last summer, but that was the record. It is pretty rare. This, I think, is the fifth or sixth day of a 70 plus dew point. Uh, so much lower than last year so far. We still have time, of course, to, to catch up to that current heat index in the mid 80s. We did get into low 90s with really no sunshine, which is saying something. It's, it's uh, difficult to do that, to get to 92 was our heat index with cloudy skies. So it's something you see in the south, obviously, a lot more than you do in northern New England. A couple of showers moving offshore over uh, southern Maine, and there's some showers and thunderstorms behind it. As I mentioned, nothing severe here. A couple of these are pulsing up and down from thunder showers to just showers, if you will. And uh, the lightning is the only thing that's really changing going through Orono here shortly with some heavy downpours. And it's not hard to imagine with this air mass, the way this air mass feels, that there's a lot of moisture to be had in the atmosphere to come down. And here's those other um, showers and thunderstorms coming through Rumford and another one up towards Rangeley. So just a few waves. Those will settle down, though, tonight. And while most of us are sleeping, the air mass will change and train change quickly. So by tomorrow morning, it's in the upper 60s, uh, low 60s away from the coastline. And again, it's crisp. We'll call it mostly sunny for most of the state. The southern fifth or so of the state, though, will be partly to mostly cloudy through the first half of the day. It's a nice day otherwise, and then the heat comes back on Friday. Partly cloudy, a couple of scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon on Friday. Temperatures, though, back into the mid-80s, and the dew points back there as well. So there's your moment of zen. Bye-bye humidity, but then it comes right back on Friday into the 70s, so the dew points by Friday afternoon will be very similar to what they are right now. So it's only that one-day break. Continue to see big signals for heat here on Saturday. There's really no change to that forecast. A lot of us will be into the mid 90s. The only question that we keep kind of flirting with here is can we get to 100 in places like Sanford and uh, into Freiburg and into New Hampshire? And I think we can. So we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, Rock and Bar Harbor, 87 and 88 respectively, which for them is pretty big, pretty big doings too. Uh, marine forecast sees around two to four feet. Water temperature is 62, but again, it oscillates off that buoy. Um, right off the coastline. So uh, the weekend's hot. Saturday, the hottest. Sunday, also hot, 90 degrees. We should probably not get to an official heat wave in Portland. Um, Lewiston has a chance, and so does Bangor. But remember, you need three days of 90 plus, plus. 90 or right. plus in right. a row. Um, after that, next week looks more seasonable. So we'll get a little, a little break in there. Nothing too extreme coming next week. No, no. I think Saturday afternoon, from say noon to four, is going to be. Something. All right. Yeah. Consider Great. ourselves warned. Yes. And when we come back, <laughs> training with a legend.